Here's our 2015 Chevy, or I'm sorry, GMC Sierra 3500. This is a wrecker. Got the Miller body on it. I believe it's a Vulcan 812. Uh, this truck does have the 6.6 .6 Duramec engine. Only about uh, 9,000 miles on this truck. Uh, four wheel drive, Allison transmission. Very clean, regular cab. This truck comes with uh, some dollies that you can see here. They're a little older, they're not the new style, but it looks like they're still usable. The uh, crossbars. We have aluminum crossbars. I haven't pulled them out of the cab yet, but there's two aluminum crossbars back here. These came with the truck, so I know nothing about them. The wheels are in the other toolbox. We'll get over there in a second. There is a camera down here, a backup camera. You can see we got lighting here, both sides lower and the uppers are actually switched independently so you can turn on just the lowers or just the uppers now this truck here actually was involved in a rear end accident it got rear ended in this corner here you can see the before pictures on the internet we actually cut and spliced a new piece of diamond plate in here tried to keep the grid as straight as we could so you can hardly tell just a little seam there is all you see all of this back here, all these tail lights are actually still the original tail lights. We didn't even have to replace them. Um, they're still original. This back piece here is still original. The only thing that we really had to replace was a section about right here down to here. And that's all that we had to do was just that and this. We didn't replace anything up front. It's still all the original door and whatnot there. Let's see the underside. Got a uh, super spring uh, added leaf there. Tire tread. And like I say, the wheels are here. They're not very much uh, tread life left on them, but they are there. There was absolutely nothing touched or damaged in the front of the truck or actually even on the cab itself. I'll go ahead and do a fresh restart for you. Keep my hand here so you know I'm not trying to reset anything. Of course my other one's holding my camera. No idiot lights whatsoever. Go ahead and put my seat belt on. Another option it has, somebody put these aftermarket uh, air deflectors on the door. Apologize, I gotta be a little quick here on my test drive. Uh, I just got a battery alert that my uh, camera battery here is about to die. Go ahead and shut them off. Turn the, uh, the camera on. See the camera display is down here. Currently the mileage is 9,982 miles. And that's just the cruise control light there coming on. Trailer brake. Some manual four wheel drive down here on the floor. Traction control, uh, your back cab light, exhaust brake, and uh, I can't recall, I think that's a PTO button there. Again, I'm trying to rush.
refresh my test drive here so my battery doesn't die. Go ahead and I'll set the cruise. See I'm letting go of the steering wheel. Steering wheel is straight. Not touching it whatsoever with my knees or my hand. Still not actually touching it whatsoever. Other one's on the camera. We're still going straight down the road. Drives good. Appears to be no issues. AC works. Again, we didn't touch a single thing on the cab. It was just that left rear corner. You can see the before pictures on it. If I remember correctly, the insurance company paid out seventy-four or seventy-five thousand dollars on this truck. So that's what they determined this truck was worth at the time of the accident. This here is the switch you use to turn your flashing lights on or a sunglass holder. And I'm sure somebody's gonna out there gonna want to see the uh, the wheel left there work. It does have the stop sensors on it, so it will stop when she's level, just like it just did there. our test drive uh, if you have any questions as always feel free to email us thank you very much and have a good day